we've been talking now about the the children uh-huh. and you've been talking a bit about your book and um but we didn't talk about where are you actually from i'm from originally i'm from the united states and oregon and then i've lived all over <laughs> lived in hawaii for a lot of years and now i live in sedona arizona which is a very spiritual area where people from all over the world come there and i was guided there about nine years ago so i've been there that long and now you're in sweden mm-hmm. and you come to sweden every year i've been in sweden 23 years now mm-hmm. you come for a period of time each year yes yes yeah. Sometimes I come two times a year and other times once a year, so. Okay. And Sweden's home for me. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, my whole life people ask me if I was Swedish and because I'm tall and light or whatever. And then this woman that brought me to Sweden for the first time, Lena Christina Tolf, takes groups to Hawaii and I was living in Hawaii and then she asked me, um, Someone suggested she have a session with me, so she invited me over here like she does many, and it just opened up for me. Then the next year, other healing centers called me and said, oh, would you come to our place? And it just, it's been incredible. It's really been coming home for me. And I have seen the evolution of the people here, too. It's just been incredible. I have so many wonderful friends here. I feel like... um, like every place else in the world, people are being activated. And their old belief systems or who they thought they were all of a sudden are like being activated and they don't know who they are any longer. Mm -hmm. And I have found like one of the biggest issues, the DNA of Sweden is Yante's Law. Where in my workshops we always go into that and people say, oh my God, it's one of the biggest experiences that they've ever had in their life to really go in and to be able to release that. You know, don't think you're important. You're not any better than anyone else. And it's really held people back from being able to shine, to come into who they are, these magnificent, beautiful beings. That's so interesting because that was going to be my next question uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, about Jante Lagen and, and uh-huh. how you could relate that to... Uh, um, mm-hmm. the current state of, of consciousness in mm-hmm. Sweden. So how are you actually going about that in, in the workshop? Um, well, the work that comes to me, I do a lot of DNA work with mm-hmm. people, and that came through me after I was diagnosed with cancer. So all the work that we, with me and Spirit, do in the workshops are from my own healing process, so I know that it works. So it feels like I get to go through it first, and then the other side and then bring others out. So I was diagnosed with cancer and I had two biopsies that said I had cancer. And then I thought, you know, I'm a healer. I'm gonna see where this is coming from. So I started looking at my family to see who in my family has had the health problems that I've had, because I've had a few of them. And then I realized it was my father. So I thought, I'm gonna see if I can go into his DNA. And I did, and it was amazing what I saw there. It's like my whole life, my patterns of what I had constantly recreated until I get to the place, all of us, where we know this doesn't feel good any longer and to do something else. But in the DNA, I could absolutely see my relationships were relationships of my father, which we know, we re, most of us, you know, that we recreate that in our lives until we move out of it. So in the DNA, then as we go into the programs or patterns, we actually bring the light of who we are, so soul retrieval out of the DNA, the ancestors like the father, the ancestor DNA, all the way back to source before this pattern began. And then we bring that light source energy through the DNA and through soul retrieval and bring us back into us. So I did that with my father and then I thought, well, let me do my mother, same thing, just incredible. So Yante's laws in the DNA So we went into the DNA with Yante's Law, same thing, in where it was passed down, went before it was created, and brought that light back into people. And you can just feel your bodies, poof, releasing the program. It's amazing. And so when you say that you go into the DNA, Uh what do you actually mean by that? Okay, we travel energetically into the DNA. So my main man, Jeshua, Jesus, 
and Archangel Michael is very much with me. So they energetically, energetically take us into the DNA. So you get to go in to the energy of what's going on there, because everything is energy. And then go into whatever programs and release and bring, bring your light back into you. So we do this with people that have been stuck collectively like in war where I had a client who both his parents had been in um, Auschwitz. And when he came back, his, they met here and anyway they had him. So when we went into his father's DNA, it was like a nightmare for him. He was so frightened. So that's the kind of energy that we carry inside of us. And if we have that fear-based energy in the DNA, it creates an imbalance in us, of course, and then the shadow aspect of us, the fear-based part of us, really connects to the collective shadow. So as we go into the DNA, we disconnect that part and bring the light back in. And so we do it with war, with health, with the imbalance of the male and female, just anything that the group needs. We go in and do soul retrieval, disconnect. So you work with all kinds of people, all age, H's and yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've worked with children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where I had a client who um, had a granddaughter whose little girl just wasn't, didn't seem to be surviving here. It was very weak, not coming into her body. So I told him, okay, let's have you become her, connect to her higher self, and we'll give her the session through you. We did. She hadn't come into her body release karmically whatever was going on, cleaned it out, and brought her into the body. And you give healing sessions? Uh, yes. That's yes. like this? Mm -hmm. All different mm -hmm. healing sessions, depending on what the person needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have new work coming through me that I want to talk a little bit okay. about. Okay, go ahead. This is math, and I'm, I think I even flunked general math, so I'm not good at math at all. So it's amazing sometimes the work that comes through me. I feel like it's because I don't have a left brain experience of it. You know, I'm so right brained. If I need to connect, I can channel it, bring it through. But so last year, I was having a difficult time where I was living in Sedona because of geopathic stress. The land was very stressful. So where I was living was hard for me. So one night I, was, I had a dream of all of these math numbers coming through me. So then when I woke up, they just started coming through me and I could feel them clean out my body and then I was okay to be in the house. So then when I came to Sweden, I said, I have these math numbers that are coming through me. You know, so I asked a group, do you mind if I bring them through? No incredible so one man it was an audience he said he when he stood up he realized his back pain was gone so then what the creator was showing me is he talks about he she talk about in the book that we are actually live computer systems so inside of us we have mathematical equations connected to our karmic agreements so every karmic agreement has a mathematical equation to it, and those math numbers are stuck in the body. So the new work that's coming through me is finding where each participant gets to find their soul's code because we're these live systems. So just like any computer has an access code to it. So they're showing us, they're taking into really ancient wisdom and knowledge inside of ourselves. So they give us the access code, and from there, we can go in and start cleaning you out. Going in, and then they just show me the um, mathematical equations connected to each person, whatever their intention is. So if a person has health issues and what creation does, they just run like a tape of math numbers in front of me. And I just keep reading them, and then the person reads them, and we release whatever is going on. So this way, we're healing from the inside out, instead of doing work and constantly from the outside in. Okay, it's amazing. Where I had a woman come to me in America that um, she was doing one of my workshops that had Alzheimer's. She was 55 years old and diagnosed with early onset of Alzheimer's. So we do the soul's code and. 
then she's back at the doctors and they said, we don't know what's going on. We think you were misdiagnosed. Wow. <laughs> so sickness, disease, whatever's going on has this mathematical, because it's a karmic number connected to it. Right. So it's profound. I'm really excited about this new work. Yes. Yeah. So what they're saying is we're talking, the Creator's here, Jesus is here, they're all here. They're saying it's another portal that's opening because there are constant portals that are opening on the earth right now. So that day they're saying is a shift of a frequency that's happening and it's activating in our DNA the another, a higher vibration of the Christ energy. So what the Creator has shown me is we actually have a collective DNA system. So in our etheric body is a collective system, it's an etheric system. So what they're telling me is when that day is happening, the 21st, it's bringing us into a collective higher vibration, again a portal of consciousness that's opening so that collectively we're moving into another wave or frequency of the ascension. The second coming of Christ, the I am, the Bodhisattva, which is the freedom within ourselves. So. So what Jesus tells me is when he was on the earth plane that he and Magdalene were definitely married and at that time it wasn't such that he could do what he did and um, keep her safe in being married. So she supported him and now he's supporting her as that Magdalene energy, the feminine, is really opening. So I took a group to France a couple years ago and there are so many different stories about Magdalene living in France and Jesus was there with her and others believe all these different stories. So when I got back to America I asked them, tell me what happened. So the channeling that came through me, it's in the book, is Jeshua and Magdalene's love story. And when I was channeling it I was crying, it's like so much love coming from them. So, um, you have to buy the book to know the story, <laughs> but it's, they're definitely partners. They've had children and it's an amazing story. So collectively, they are the oversoul of planet Earth right now. So that's the second coming that we're coming into the balance of um, the Christ energy, the heart, the love energy. Even if it's um, whatever religion that we are in, it's still bringing us into a higher vibration of ourselves. So one last question. Uh -huh. um, when the Beatles made the song, Michelle, was uh -huh. that about you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think so, but I doubt that very seriously. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been an honor. Thank you. Blessings.